Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a card with this stamp set by Tim Holtz. It is called Schoolhouse A Blueprint, and it has a lot of fun images. At first, I was thinking I would make a card with just one stamped image, a standard size card, but I wanted to use a few of them, so I'm going to change my mind, and I'm going to make a slimline card. And I'm going to be able to use three stamps out of this stamp set because I'm able to fit three across the slimline card. So, yes, please, let's keep on going and create this card. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out these images with a Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then I'm going to bring in the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. And I'm going to make sure that I wipe my stamp off from the black and then I'm going to be adding some clear embossing powder over this because I'm going to be watercoloring these images with my Distress Ink Minis and I want to have a guide for my watercoloring. So by adding the embossing powder and heat setting it, I create like a well for the watercolors to sit in. It helps with the flow and it doesn't get everywhere if you use a little bit of too much water. And also just get this great finished look as the embossing adds that shiny, glossy, raised feel. And I just love how it looks, especially with watercoloring. And this is a great way to watercolor if you maybe aren't the best at watercoloring or you don't do it all the time or it just gives it a different look. This is going to help you watercolor and just adds that finishing look. So I'm adding the second image in. I love to do this technique with watercoloring for sure. I am just stamping on a heavyweight cardstock and I did not use a ton of water so I'm able to get good results. But doing a separate panel on a watercolor paper would work as well for this technique. What the embossing powder does is just gives your watercoloring a guide to stick to and gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you use too much water. All right, so now I'm going to stamp out the third image. And by doing the apple, I have a teeny tiny little bit of space left to add in the sentiment over the top. And you're going to see how I do that here in a little bit so stay tuned and stick with me to create this card I love how this card comes together and it was so fun to sit down and make this card I got this stamp set just before Christmas and then it arrived after Christmas and I have been making cards but I haven't been making cards for a while I said that in my last video we have had so many things going on and so it was so nice to sit down and create this card and just relax and watercolor. And I haven't pulled out my Distress Ink Minis to watercolor in such a long time. So this was so nice. And I am using the Tim Holtz Fine Detail Water Brush. I picked this up after Christmas with some Amazon gift cards. I had been on the hunt for a better fine tip watercolor brush and a friend recommended this one to me. And yes, it is so nice and definitely fine detailed and I'll have all of the supplies that I am using today linked down below in the description box if you want to have a closer look or if you are looking for a certain product, you can check out those links down below. So as you can see, I am just taking the mini ink cubes and smushing them directly on to my glass mat. And then the water brush already has water in it. And then I am just getting the ink and adding it into these stamped images. And I tried to stick to the same colors of like reds and greens and then you're gonna see what I do with the books I definitely wanted to add some more color there but stick to the same blues as well throughout the image throughout the images and just 
make this fun and vibrant with a lot of color, but I wanted the background to stay white. And that was what I was going for. You could definitely add color to the background if you wanted, but I really wanted it to stand out and the colors in the stamped images to stand out. So yes, <laughs> that was just what I was doing and what I was thinking while I was creating this card and just having a relaxing good time. Adding some more detail and more color as the paint dries. And then here you go. I add that red back in to kind of keep systematic, to keep the globe and the apple match a little bit, but by bringing in that blue for the ocean, of course, it switches it up a little bit, but keeps things flowing, keeps the same colors going, and it makes for easy coloring because I'm not having to pull out a ton of different shades, but I'm just using what I have on my glass mat or I'm able to smush some more ink. So as you can see, I'm adding the red in on the book and then I did have a little bit of overflow here on the fine details. So I just took a Kleenex and I dotted it off and kept on going, made it work. Just go with the flow. So then I'm adding orange in, so I'm going to be creating a rainbow of books to bring in more colors because rainbow of books is fun. <laughs> and yes, so I'm actually making this card for my son's support teacher. We homeschool, but we are through a online school. So we do all the teaching at home, but we have a support teacher who checks in with us. We're able to ask them questions about curriculum and or how to teach something if we're if our child is maybe needing help in a certain area and they also give us report cards for all of that stuff. So we are going to be seeing her at next week to wrap up our school year and I wanted to go ahead and give her this card to thank her for all the hard work she has done for our family and just all of the input she has put into our school year and I thought this would be fun. The globe, the books, and the apple teacher appreciation card for yes. So adding the different colors, added the same green and the same blue in and now I'm just adding some brown to the books so that the background, the white background sticks out even more and you just have the white in the background and nothing is getting lost from the images. And then I also added that brown into the labels on the different items here from the blueprint stamp set. And then I'll be adding the sentiment. So for the sentiment, I'm going to be saying thank you. And to do this, I'm going to use the Ranger emboss it pen and I'm going to write out thank you right over top of this apple. I had just enough room. So I was excited that I was able to add the sentiment on here. So I'm gonna write out thank you. Then I'm gonna take some clear embossing ink and heat set that. I lost the footage for this part. I thought I was filming, but apparently I wasn't. Uh, but you just add the embossing powder on it like you would at the beginning of the card when I did it with the stamps, but you don't need to add anything. The pen does it for you. Add the embossing powder and then heat set it and you have that glossy, shiny, raised look on your sentiment or outline of whatever you are doing and it is so, so cool. So as you can see, it is all heat set and shiny and then I went ahead and added some black pops of color from scrapbook.com just around the different areas to add a little bit more dimension and finish up this card. So that is going to finish up today's card. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more card making videos and creativity flowing when I can get it up. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.